Good morning, welcome to our homestead. We are heading into our orchard this morning, and that is because I've had a lot of you request us do a video on how to treat for certain diseases on our, uh, our fruit trees. So we've also got a, <laughs> a pest problem on this apple tree over here, and I'm also gonna talk about how we treat that. Come on, let's go. Let's talk about the number one thing I use for diseases on my trees, and that's liquid copper fungicide. I've been using this for years. It works very, very, very well. And it's a more natural product than all those nasty synthetic chemicals that you find in the big box store or at your local uh, feed shop or ag store. Like with anything, you can overdo it with this. So just follow the instructions and you'll be fine and your trees will be fine. Now copper is a natural antifungal, antibacterial, antivirucidal compound that works really, really well and I am not worried about using it on my trees. This is gonna treat blight, which we have, leaf curl, black spot, uh, powdery mildew, and a host of other things. The second thing I use is vinegar. We mix vinegar in a three parts water to one part vinegar ratio, and this is, happens to be a 40% vinegar. And that will also help to kill off diseases on your tree. It'll knock some pests down too but make sure you don't mix it too strongly. So three to one. Now the next thing we use is Fertilome. That's actually a synthetic uh, chemical that's used to treat diseases on trees. It was recommended by Michigan State University Ag Department and I only use it on trees that aren't fruiting. So if there's any fruit on any tree, I don't spray anything usually at all, especially the Fertilome. The only thing I might spray is the vinegar, but I also don't spray the copper when there is fruit on the trees. And again, I'll link everything in the description below if you're interested. So our poor apple tree here, our pink lady apple tree, has several issues going on. We've got some mealy bugs on this tree, which I've battled on this tree for a while now. And we've also got, it looks like blight. It's hard to tell sometimes, but I think this is blight. We do have a lot of blight in this area. We've got uh, it on our pear tree over here, which really needs to be sprayed. And we're gonna be spraying all these down this morning. Now the copper spray can annoy some uh, pests on the tree, but do not rely on it for treating pests on the tree because that's not a, what it is for really. Now the other thing we have to do today is kill these pests on these trees. Whatever pest they are, our go-to is always neem oil and soap. This is Dr. Bronner's Cell Suds. It's a bio, highly biodegradable soap. You can use things like Dawn dish detergent, um, but in my opinion, this is better. And this neem oil is fantastic. It not only will kill a lot of different pests, but it will ward them off too. It's the smell of the oil. They don't like it. They stay away. And it's very, very, very sticky. So it'll stick on your plants, whatever they are, your trees, for a long period of time. So if the neem oil doesn't work and you need something a bit stronger, like with squash bugs, we do have this spinosad-based um, insect spray. This is a more natural <laughs> insecticide, you could say. It's safer for gardens. So if the neem oil doesn't work, we go to something like this. Now it's important to get every little branch when you're doing this because especially with mealy bugs, they will hide underneath and they kind of wrap themselves around the little branches and where the leaves connect together. So you really want to get in there and soak and drench those guys. So you just saw me have to reach way up there to get those branches up at the top of the tree. This is a really good lesson for all of us to manage 
our trees, to prune them to a good height where we can properly take care of them with things like this. So now we have to go hit our pear trees with the copper because pear trees are notorious for blight. They get a lot of blight in this area, even though they do well in the wild uh, and they keep coming back time and time again. I want to control the blight on them so it doesn't spread to all the other trees. And this one right here isn't looking too good right now. Make sure when you're spraying your trees for disease with this copper, you get the branches and the trunk also. Why? Because many diseases harbor themselves in the, uh, the bark of the trees or in the uh, spots where branches connect, things like that. So don't just hit the leaves, hit the whole tree with it so you can knock it all out. Another really important tip when using copper with these garden sprayers is to drain the hose drain the wand and hose after each use. And the reason you want to do that is the copper will build up in the nozzle, in the tubes, in the wand, in the mechanism of the trigger, everywhere, and it'll clog it up. So if you drain it every time, you're not gonna have an issue. And yes, I am using my daughter's wagon to pull things around because it's actually a really great homestead tool. So that's how we treat for pests and for disease on our trees. If you have any questions, as always, leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which shows you the method we use to plant all of our fruit trees. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.